Hello, my friends, and welcome back for the third and final time on this Tuesday, January 19th, 2021. I'm the Drunk Book Group, Tisbeer 10. We've had a few lighter ABV beers tonight. It was great. I'm going to cap the night off with a, a new beer to me. Uh, it's a contract brewer here in uh, Ontario. And it still just it's, it's a tough, tough road right now for them. But uh, giving it their best shot, great artwork caught my eye from the Nine Poets Brewing. Uh, I ask Poets Brewing, Nine Poets Brewing, comes Hazy Mariner, 5.3%, New England style pale ale, uh, pale ale IPA, <laughs> come see, come saw, tomato, tomato, let's get into it, but two because, well, it's a pale ale, I like pale ales, IPAs, pale ales, IPA, it's an IPA, it's pale ale, it's the same thing, whatever you want to call it, it's New England style, it's hazy, look at that, that's a great friggin' pour. See this? Again, he's got beer. I ain't asking a question. I'm making a statement. Got beer. That is beautiful, actually. I mean, you can't get your nose in there, but it looks good. You look pretty in the picture. <clears throat> a little, little dust off the top. A little grapefruit. Little floral notes. All right, let's get into a cheers, my friends, to, to, you know what, enjoying your night. Three nice, low ABV beers. Enjoying hockey games. Flipping back and forth on U.S. politics stuff. It's a fun time. It's a fun time. Cheers. You know what, given the LCBO's propensity for, uh, you know, shelf aging, luckily this was in a cooler where I bought it, but uh, that's very nice for uh, for the style, uh, especially at the LC sometimes, you know, they, they, they sit a long time or whatever. Uh, definitely grapefruit pithiness, I'm finding some touches of pineapple, there is a nice floral note to it, and it's a softly bitter, pithy back end, smooth bodied. Yeah, it's a, it's a good... Honestly, this is one of those beers where you're going to find, if the people are fans of this style, I think they're going to like it. And it's a little bit different. It's not um, not really like orangey, which I like. You know, they're, they're clearly whatever hops they use. I don't, it doesn't say what hops they use. Uh, it does not, which is fine. <laughs> I'm okay with that. I, I, you know me, I'm, I'm a sucker for knowing what hops are in things because it intrigues me. It's good. It's good. And that's good. We only had retention too, eh? Ooh, that's a good thing. It's a good sign. I like it too. With the sea shanty thing going on, I didn't think I was going to like do a sea shanty. I can't do a sea shanty to save my life. But I've been watching them. I do enjoy them. So maybe you can do a sea shanty too, the Hazy Mariner. Uh, put some production values in it. Because this is just me, me and my co host. My mom messaged me today and says, I see you're, you really like your baby Yoda. I said, well, Brugu, that's his name, uh, he's a great co-host, never tries to talk over me, agrees with everything I say, so this is a good thing. Uh, look for this, your local LCBO, give it a try. Again, two guys with a dream. That's a great story. Maybe they'll get to build a brewery. Even better story. These are things that, you know, in, in a post-pandemic world, heck, even in a pandemic world, people are making things happen. So, good on you, good luck. I'll drink it. Beautiful. Cheers. Body cheers am I doing lately? Just cheers. I don't know. Enjoy your evening. It's gonna be a good day tomorrow. Beautiful, beautiful day. 